Um, all right, yeah, so it started. So if, um, if you guys wouldn't mind, set your audio settings to share with the broadcast. Bitch. You bitch. To our audience of none. You bitch. <laughs> all right, I it. Cool, thanks. Welcome, Adam. All of our followers. <laughs> like... <laughs> This feels so naked without Hunter and Adam chiming in in their weird allegories. Uh oh, I think I may have lost my mind. Where is my mind? So I think Where this is, is mind? the third uh, stream of our Minecraft adventure where we're trying to get to the end game. What do we call it? The Ender <laughs> Boss? Correct. Yes. Yeah. And maybe yes. do a recap. Yes. Well, we've built a house. We have chests and dogs and lo a lava pool. Well, Kenny, okay, I'll tell you. We built a house. We built several chests and furnaces. Uh huh. Uh, right now we're, we've constructed an ender portal. I'm sorry, a nether portal. And right now we're trying to mine. Iron and diamond and all precious materials so that we can enter the nether without getting our asses handed to us. Yes. So that's where we're at right now. We have a farm, we have ender portal, we have mad furnaces and chests. Yes, Adam has done a very good job of getting his green gamer thumb to very adequate on a industrialized farm. Yeah. With the, our conveyor belt animals. Oh wait, we have a factory a farm? No, we don't have a factory. Oh. We have this game's closest approximation of animals that just pop up and reproduce. Oh, uh, um... <clears throat> Hunter, for that, uh... All the different colors of little achievements yeah. or trophy. Um, ah. I've got a red sheep and a pink sheep. I'm allowed to make any pink sheep. Um, so if you might want to stop by the farm and shear them at some point. Yeah, I'm wondering. Oh, the creeper in my goddamn mind. Fuck me, Apple. I'm wondering if uh, it's just you have to hold them all, like hold all the colors at the same time, or if you actually have to have this one. Yeah, I don't know. Till sunset. Your feathers. Be very careful <sighs> with that diamond pickaxe. Do not take it into an area where you're not certain you can survive. Hi, Ma, Nihao. Yes, yes, Nihao. 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 Okay, 可是我, 我不知道你是要什么 
。哦，他那个他那个到年终的时候嘛，你去告诉他都有给你那个那个银，他银行会寄给你，可能你没有留意到，会会扔掉的这样。你你都可以去去这里边，你做那个要报税那个那个那个叫什么？我也忘记怎么说。嗯。那个那个那个，呃、哎，你你你就是说你你你办有没有钱？我办有钱。等等等等等等等一下哦。呃，公司要做文章，你要给我发啊，就是那种比较好的邮寄。OK， 好，这样这样子，这样子，我。好像应该应该没有可以要五块钱，好像。可以。通常没有钱，还不不需要有钱的。好，呃。你自己你自己那个那个在里边。好，我我我我可以问他，我我我还不知道你是要要什么，可是我明天可以去去那个 bank 问他说。呃，有什么 tax 的东西给我？呃、我要，呃，对，我要去报税，我要去 tax。好。呃，你你你你要，年终嘛的，一年要报一次税嘛。你你说我我我我我报一下那个 tax。好。呀呀，我我问他们说我要报税那个 tax 的东西。好，可以，可以，呃呃。他他这里面就知道了。就是需要人力，知道吗？他力气你要去报税。好。Uh, yeah, 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 I got some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, 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 I,
We did have some weapons last week, didn't we? You know, our strongholds. Is there any like a uh, level that they appear at? Like, is it a big deep home? Or is it all just random? Uh, it's all just random, I think. I thought we had found some lapis last week. Uh, what color is it? Blue. It's, uh, it's like the, um. You find it deep in the ground, um, and it's like the royal blue or dark blue specks, um, but yeah, I guess you let this Leslie, which you can turn into blue. Oh, what happened? I thought I also had, oh, I don't need that. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Oh shit. Hey guys. Hey dude. Hey. Hi. Did you hear my whole phone conversation? Yes. A lot of it. Oh. I guess I thought I muted it and then I thought I unmuted it after. <laughs> I heard a lot. Yeah. Chong chong chong. <laughs> yeah. You question your Americans. Or USA. Terroristic. <laughs> I was trying to. Um... Uh, do you speak? Do you speak Mandarin, Cantonese, or Taiwanese? Is dialect? Yeah, I speak Taiwanese. Um, but they, uh, my wife, mom, they speak Fujianese and Cantonese and Mandarin. Okay. I was I was speaking to her in Mandarin, and we're. But my Mandarin is so poor, and we were trying to talk about, like, taxes. Yeah, and... I heard some, like, <laughs> Ni hao, the uh, gaijin, w do. Uh. Yeah. I, like, I, I still don't know, like, what she needs from me, because she's going to get her accountant to do our taxes. And... And so I'm just kind of winging it, like, oh, I'm going to go to the bank tomorrow and like be like, I need this thing. I don't know what it is. Do you have it? <clears throat> but yeah. Well, what's important is that I feel secure in myself and my own identity. <laughs> and what? you challenge <laughs> your terror talk. Right. Yeah, I thought I like. Hey, all you viewers of the stream, we like sarcasm here. Yeah. Just seriously. Oh man. <clears throat> ah! Okay, you said your mom speaks. What does your mom speak? Um, Mandarin. Yeah, mom. She speaks Mandarin. Taiwanese. I'm like, is, is Ni Hao, is that English. common across all of them, or is Ni Hao just... Japanese. Ni Hao is just Mandarin, yeah, and Mandarin is the common language. Okay. Mandarin and Mandarin is Putonghua, which means, like, the common language, so... Most... A lot of people speak that. And then, yeah, then the, the dialects... I'm curious, do you know at any point in history, communist or otherwise, if there was an attempt to um, create like a more kind of systemic language, not I necessarily think, while repressing other languages? or I think that was Mandarin, but I could be wrong. Do Come you know if... like if 
or if that happened, do you know when that happened? No idea. And I know Mao was all about like uniting kind of the people of China as a whole, but at the same time, kind of like the Soviets, he didn't want to tread on the toes of people's unique dialects and shit like that. But yeah, as far I as you know, was there like a, a concerted effort to? I would I would assume I would assume that would be Mandarin because that's well you know the common language. Well, again, I'm not I'm not asking that so much as like, do you know if if it happened or if there was an attempt during what era it happened? Nah, I wouldn't know. I'm pretty ignorant to that history. <clears throat> Finally, I found some iron ore. It's been a really fruitless. Yeah, I'm I'm bogarting the uh, diamond axe because I'm revisiting my mine. You just be very, very, very careful. The diamonds are. I think that each world at the very most there's only 150 diamond blocks. We've already found. I haven't been able to push enough to find a good couple of beans, so... Okay. In particular, I mean, pay attention, like, while you're digging, make sure that you have, on quick selects, like, dirt or something else that, if you hit, a uh, lava vein, you can get out of it, or you can block it up, or whatever. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and that that's careful. What's careful? To not die with the diamond decks? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't lose it just because it's all diamond shit should be like as precious as it is just because it's rarity. Alright, in that case, I'm probably gonna back out of here and get, or at least make a stone axe. Or yeah, stone. I need to make, there's, we have, actually, I think I may have taken iron and get out of our thing. Uh, you shouldn't, you don't really need a diamond axe. Unless you're trying to get like obsidian or like one of the really high rare metals. Yeah. I think you only need it for obsidian. Okay, yeah, so then you should definitely not not waste it. Alright, um, I'll, I'll meet go you back, back to the said. house and I'll drop off. I think I accidentally yeah. took all the iron ingots. I'll it's drop night time now, I I'll drop off all the ingots and also some uh, stone axes. Yeah. Yeah, like Adam just said, it is night time, so we can just sleep anyway. Uh, damn, it's night already? Yeah, the days pass pretty quickly when you're in a mine and speaking never. Come on up, pig. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna probably put all my shit in the crate and uh, ask you guys to kill me again. <clears throat> Wait, so this has to be upstairs so that my dog doesn't bite your butthole. So you tell me that there's only like two, 150 things of diamond? I think that's what I read. There's only 150 diamond blocks in each match. That's each world, really. super rare, holy shit. Yeah, it's rare and it's also limited, which means that if you don't kind of manipulate it well, then you can actually be in a match where it's impossible to reach the end or do stuff to stuff and stuff. <coughs> Uh, so yeah. Hey, Cobblestone. Uh, Kenny, I just made a bunch of iron pickaxes. I'm going to put some in our tool chest. Okay. I just happened upon an iron vein. Are you still out there? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get out. Um, well, Adam and I are back home. We can wait for you. But... I struck iron! Struck it. Struck it. Love it. I 
Adam, to build cactus, do you just need to place a, a base? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kenny, there's also there's an achievement for. I think he just you, answered the phone. Mining. What was it? I think he just went to talk on the phone. Oh, Kenny, you not there? Is that what he said? Was it a, excuse me? <laughs> no. I think he saw heavily. He went, uh... uh, Adam, you mind? Actually, you know what? This is all just cobblestone, so it is bird. Stay away from me! Don't come in here! Don't come in here! <laughs> so much cobblestone. I don't want it. Leave me alone. Throw it in the lava. <laughs> oh, oh. Hi. This is gonna be some riveting gameplay footage. I'm like mining. I'm like trying to reach the surface in the dark. I'm just like laying down cobblestone under me. How have I not reached the surface smoke. yet? If Kenny gets back, I'm in a bed. Otherwise, uh, probably gonna be dawn in a few minutes anyway. Okay. BRB. Oh, Kenny, what I was saying uh, when you answered the phone, there's a trophy for having a chest full of like 1700 something 56 blocks of cobblestone. Okay. Which, if you mine, that's very easy and quick to come across. But you should, uh, your, the chest that you built up in our bedrooms or whatever, that's your chest. Yeah. Um, if you want that trophy, you should dedicate that from this point on just to putting like 64 units of cobblestone in. Okay. I mean, that's the, the most prominent uh, subterranean sub kind of dirt and sand uh, zones. It's pretty easy to come up with. Cool. BRB. Thanks for the tip. I just hope I don't die with pickaxe in hand. Oh my god. There's a creeper right up front of our door.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> I just brought in my cat on my lap and I said hello and then the sound of my voice freaked him out so he like ripped the mic out of my fucking ear. <laughs> yeah, I just like, hello? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Adam, are you gonna create in FIFA? Like, uh, Adam Joker. Yeah. <clears throat> I assume you're doing it. Of course. What's his nationality gonna be? Are you gonna stick with the Irish or are you gonna be true to form and be an American? I might make him Irish again. Creeper. Oh he fills with blood and then he explodes. A dick. Is Kenny still there? He's around. I think he got another phone call. Yeah, so there's, I think there's actually an achievement for it, the co-op seasons in FIFA 15. Yeah. Um, I assume that we would get our asses kicked, because people who are good at FIFA are, like, phenomenal at FIFA. Yeah. But, um, I'd be down to try it if you want.
Weird. Otherwise, it would be a, a good opportunity to try out the entire share play couch co op. Okay. I do miss playing co op with my some friends of mine. Who, my friend Alex, who I'll refer to as the poor man's Adam. <laughs> uh, like he bought FIFA. So I was like raving about it off of FIFA 12. But he and like all of his roommates, including the basis of my band, they like exclusively want to play versus. Like it's not where the fun is, man. It's much more fun to actually set up goals with friends. Yeah. So like I constantly just like beat them. We get all fucking butt hurt and don't enjoy it. <laughs> but still refuse to like play co-op. <clears throat> so it'd be good to actually play co-op with someone. I still, it's like, it's inexcusable for me that FIFA doesn't have an online co-op mode. Yeah, I know. I think the reason they do it too is because their like ultimate team stuff became so popular. That they spend all their like multiplayer <clears throat> focus on that. Yeah, but even like back in like FIFA 9, like where the game became good and like revamped, like, they didn't have that shit. I just don't really? understand. Like, it's just fucking basic things. Like, the ability to play a match with friends. Can I get you back? Well, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, did you bring the diamond pickaxe back? I did. Cool, I'm gonna need it. So, uh, yeah, but I threw three iron pickaxes in the tool chest. Alright, I see. Uh, is... I'll put it back in the... I Yeah, I took two. I'm gonna get more wood. I feel like we're low on wood. That's cool. Adam, is it smart to have three iron pickaxes? Do you need any? Uh, As opposed to like using that. Oh, I'm sorry, you said iron. Yeah, iron. Oh, okay, okay. So I thought you meant diamond. In which case, you should probably. No, 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 no. Focus on diamond armor. Right? <clears throat> yeah, we're really low on wood. Uh, yeah, I want. I, I made a tree farm. You making a tree farm? I made a tree farm. Oh. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna go chop some wood. Ow, my eyeballs hurt. Yeah, I, I um, got back a bunch of la lapis. Uh, nice. I need some of that. Yeah, and um and gold on my last run. What's lapis for? Is that even what it's called? You make lapis lazuli. Uh, you turn it into blue dye. Oh, well, why do we need that? I need it to dye sheep blue. To dye sheep blue. Yeah. Okay. So then we can have blue wool. Uh, oh. You actually have to use it on the sheep. Yep. That's how you get all the different colors of sheep. Okay. That is essential for a mission. Of... <laughs> if you go to my yes. farm, there's uh, the start of the rainbow sheep core. Where's this tree farm? Uh, I'll show you. Um, actually, uh, oh. do you know where my farm is? Like in the back southwest of our farm. I could take it right. <clears throat> this little building over here that has all the torques on top of it. Yeah. Go in there and chop down what is in there, and then uh, just whatever oak saplings you pick up, just put them back. Whoa. How's this a farm? It just replenishes itself? 
Well, you have to replant, but um, <clears throat> yeah, oak trees will grow right next to each other, so you can pack them all in, and then uh, the ceiling keeps them from getting too high, so that you can get all the wood without having to climb up. Oh wow! Okay. So after I chop it down, I should just plant saplings Oaks. on the ground. Oak saplings, just wherever there's space. Huh. Ingenious. Whoops! I chopped a sapling. You bitch. You bitch. You asshole. My bitch. My friend. My friend. Uh, it's sunset. Should I chop the leaves so the more trunks can Yeah, that, uh, chop the leaves because that's where um, saplings come from. And if the leaves are there, the trunks won't grow. Uh, oak trees are... I think I read they're the only ones that will grow through other trees' leaves. Oh, okay. So I don't have to Which clear. is why... Yeah, that's why... Um, the oak farms are the best because you can just pack them all in next to each other. Mm. Did you get a guidebook or something? Or just internet? No, looks internet. Yeah. Um, wow. I don't have. There aren't as many. Uh, I cleared the ground of trunks, but there aren't as many saplings. It didn't yield as many saplings. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> It's it's oak? There might be some in that trunk that's in the room yes, too. There are. Make sure you only plant the oak ones so not the other ones. Yeah. I feel like such an advanced Minecrafter. <laughs> Doing this. Nice tree farm. Oh, and we have sheep. A little sheep farm. Was it a cow farm? Animal farm. Oh, I saw this new enemy. It's like a green blob. Oh, the slime. Yeah, it was kicking my ass. Creeper. I will lure you away from our home. Or you could just blow up there, I guess. Come on. Come on. Here's a good place. Sure. Ha cha! Alright, I built a uh, pillar onto our beacon. So we can know which way is. Wait, oh, why am I level two? What level are you guys at? Uh, do do the zero. Oh, the levels reset after you die. Uh, yeah. yeah, if you don't pick up your uh, stuff. Kill him, kitty, kill him! Sleepy. 
Alright. Oh. Hey, again, if you have cobblestone thrown in your, uh... Oh, yeah. Jesus. I think it has to be mined by you. Yeah, did you just put cobblestone in my chest? Or you just looked at it? I did not. Okay. I, was, I didn't put it in there. I was like, oh. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to have the entire double chest. It's like two thirds of the way through. Unlock the trophy. Okay. Fucking monster. Do I need to wake up or something? There's a zombie. And a creeper. No, it's a zombie. In the house? Boop, 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 boop. I got him. Boop, 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 boop. Back, Back in bed. bed. Back in bed, gentlemen. Bob. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey. I'm sleeping. Please keep the noise down. Um, I'm going to use two of the diamonds to make an enchantment table. Cool. Oh, I have a tiny I don't know how to carry a tiny villager. I'm gonna put so wood in the chest. I contributed wood. You did. Yeah. It's hard. Hard wood. Alright, we now have an enchanting table. It will be upstairs by the bookshelf. So, um, if you make any more bookshelves, um, you place them around the enchanting table, leaving one block of just space in between and the more bookshelves we have the um, better the enchantments will be what are enchantment tables for you enchant uh, <coughs> weapons and stuff yeah. you might be sure mind us yeah hey, Kennedy did you hear that yeah it is oh, it was like Uh, you can enchant weapons and armor. Gotcha. Pig. Okay, yeah, and it, um... <clears throat> I'm reading through the tutorial on the enchantment too right now. Um, to enchant something, you need to spend experience points. So the higher your experience level, the better enchantments you'll be able to place on something. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think my level was pretty high until I killed myself. I think the furthest I've gotten was like 8, but I didn't care about it. So yeah. I, I didn't realize killing myself would lower my level. I think I was up pretty high. So, like, I think mining gives you a lot of experience points when you, like, mine raw materials. Is there a place where diamonds show up more, like, are there features that I should look out for? Be like, oh, uh, diamonds the, will... Adam is, like, the, the last ten levels. Like, it's the last fifty. The bottom 15 levels are the only places where diamonds show up. Last 15. Okay. I don't know how deep that is. I don't really count. Yeah, well, if you dig the bedrock, and you put the bottom, and you just explore around there. So it's all the way at the bottom. Pretty much. So I just, just downward hoe. Downward ho, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. That's sexist. Never done it. Hmm. 
go. I have half a heart. Yeah, but what about man hoes? No one ever gets mad about that. Hashtag yes all man hoes. Man hoes rights. Yeah, I feel like my rights are being infringed upon. Whenever I try to fuck a woman, she says no. Isn't that a civil liberty? Here in Duckford. Oh, so Kenny, uh, I don't know if you heard of it, but a game, Shovel Knight, which I think was originally only on the 3DS, which is like an 8 bit or maybe 16 bit. Yeah, I know of it. Or RPG, but very much DuckTales. It's like a guy pogo sticks off of a shovel. Yeah. That either it came out or is coming out in like the next couple weeks on PlayStation 4. It's coming out soon. Yeah, I heard good things about that game. Like, it's really renowned. Like, really good game design. It's got the whole retro thing going. Like, referencing a lot of mechanics from old school games and. Yes, sir. I've meant to pick that up on the I 3DS um, and stuff. Was like, it a downloadable know. only, or was it? Did they actually make a, a cartridge? Yeah, it was a download. Uh. And like, yeah, people people now always say like the mechanics are like like really good, and like the design is really good, but they say the graphics and stuff are really good. You know, like. Put a lot of heart in all those pixels. At first glance, so oh. I look at it, it's not that beautiful, but I feel like when you see the no, game in action, it probably it really is. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I think that's kind of kind of the point. With the it's like a cross between eight and sixteen bit, more focusing on the eight bit graphics, where it's all kind of washed out and monotone. Yeah. Like blues and browns, but that's also like the purpose, I think, of the game. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the, I mean, they really like limited themselves, I feel like, in terms of like color palette and things like that, because it's like kind of ugly in a way, but I think that's part of like the charm. Yeah. Kenny, you never played, uh, well, Journey, did you? No, I heard good things about that, too. Was that a PlayStation 3 game? Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah I didn't get into probably that. Probably the best game I've ever played. Wow. Not in my life. And at least in the last, like, 10 or 15 years. It's like, yeah, it's, even the fact that it's called Journey is like, kind of perfect. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I didn't have the PS3, so, do they have it as download for PS4? No, I was really hoping that, I really hope that they... Like they might be working. Kind of PS4 version where I don't know, like all of that developer, like they made that, they made Flower Flow. The journey is just like such a. Oh my god! Like the score of the game is so awesome. It's all dynamic. It's so like depends on what you're doing in the game. Yeah. It's really fucking awesome. Adam, I know you liked it. I don't know if you had quite as much of like a. No, I thought it was amazing. Experience as I did, but like 
think that was like like I feel like the entire you know if our video games art conversation like I feel like that game was just like very heavy handedly Iron Fist it's just like yep period play Journey there's no fucking ifs ands or buts about it you know I was just like at the end of the game I was just in awe and like speechless <laughs> it's like wow Yeah, like the score. Um, it's like the only game besides Dan Paladin. But for Dan Paladin, it's just more like his art style was kind of fun and goofy. But like I looked up the the composer of the game, like found him on Facebook, and I'm like sent him a message, and I was just like, this is one of the most emotionally charged, like beautiful games I've ever played. And your score is fundamental to that. It's just like, thank you, man. Did Pat, Dan Paladin have... Was he involved in the project? No, Dan Paladin had nothing to do with it. It's this guy named Austin Wintry. Yeah. It, like, I mean, Dan Paladin is like a kind of sketch artist. Yeah, he did Austin, like Battle Block Theater Wintry and all that stuff. Yeah, he did all the behemoth games. Austin Wintry is like a... Actually, like a... Kind of... More traditionally accomplished... Uh... Artist. Yeah. Like the the score for Destiny was is and I think I think as far as I know remains the the only video game that's ever been nominated for like a a Grammy for a soundtrack ah. for a video game. I like guess the only video game that's ever showed up there. I'm surprised. Not that it got. A Grammy, but like there's a lot of good video game soundtracks out there. Do you think does it have to do with Paul McCartney doing being part of it? <laughs> what about Destiny? No, I think it's just uh, I think a lot of it's just like the the kind of lag of the medium being accepted as like art. Like I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think I told Adam after I played it, and after he played it, like, it's, it's the kind of game that, like, I would want my grandma to play, or, like, at my funeral, I would, like, have people be forced to play it. To Destiny, Destiny and the Destiny soundtrack we're talking about, or are we talking about Journey? No, 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 no Journey. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm imagining really us all playing... Destiny, Destiny is a fun, good mechanics game that sucks. Whereas Journey is much simpler, right. more minimal, minimalistic, but just like a fucking beautiful game. Just yeah, imagine your grandma I playing Destiny I at your funeral. Like, who is this fucking bot talking to me? Think a bot. Like I can't, like I, I can't for the life of me like find anything wrong with the journey. It's just like, wow. Wait, so you're saying Journey got the the Grammy nomination? Yeah, it's the only video game that's ever gotten. Okay. Oh, okay. I okay. That makes in a, sense. In a predominantly movie category. Yeah, I can I can see that. I mean, I never played it, or but like just from the look of it and like kind of what they were going for. I, so that's, that. I mean, that, for me, that was like, I'm the, it's, it's it doesn't influence like my decision, but that's kind of part of the, in my opinion, like the boldness of it is that by all modern day standards, like your guy or your guy or girl. It's like a very androgynous character. There's like no dialogue whatsoever. Plays like a very like Muslim esque character. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, look out, look out, Gucci. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna have trouble getting out of this mind. Uh, at this point, you might want to stay stuck in it, unless monsters are spawning around you. There's... Well, I don't know how much health you have. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with uh, health and all that, but I broke my pickaxe, I have none. And I just dug myself down to bedrock. Um, so I'm going to make my way up. You got a bunch of gold and iron. Oh shit, that's not good. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. It, like, from the looks and sounds of it, it kind of reminds me of, like, Ico. Or, and also, um, whatever that other Ico game is. In terms of, like, yeah, like, like, artistic. It's, it's more similar to, to Ico, but it's like. I mean, like, you don't have to be good at video games to play this game. Yeah. And I think that's kind of part of the appeal. Like, it's... I don't know, it's just... Oh my god, it's like... Breathtakingly beautiful. It's just really fucking simple, but like at the same time, profoundly complex. Like, the, the music, the graphics, or... Like, the way that they, they make sand in the game look like fucking water. It's like... Like the lighting effects are like really fucking awesome. Wow. The score is really fucking awesome. The gameplay itself is relatively simple, but it, it actually like it makes kind of complexity as simplicity. Like there's, there's no dial even like with a co op, there's no dialogue whatsoever. That like, you you cannot in the game have like party chat. You just like hit a button and your guy says like some foreign thing like or some shit like that. You have to like communicate based on it. Oh, there's so there's there's a multiplayer online component. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a Destiny kind of game where you play the game normally, but if you're signed into online, if you like walk into a certain region, there at the very most will be like one other person, so you can like help them with puzzles, or you can completely ignore them, or you can like play the entire like Adam and I. Like, I played the game, and I was fucking, like, had a boner about it, and I told Adam about it. And he eventually played his, and, like, we had the idea of eventually playing together. But we, if we wanted to play together, the only way that we could, that we could do it is, like, kind of go to the same region at the same time, activate the same events, and if we didn't show up in each other's games, we'd have to, like, reload and try it again. Were you able to party chat, like, or did they just turn off that feature? I think they completely shut it off. I think the only way that you could talk is by using the game's game communication, which is all it is is a button, which makes right. your guy like chime like, which means like, hey, look over here, or whatever. Right. Wow. So when you guys played, like, you just arranged to we meet up in the game. Play. Oh, you didn't. We didn't play, but we intended to. Like, I beat it, and, like, I, I, I 100% of the game, but, like, the game was so fucking awesome. Like, I wanted to play it a third time without him. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, based on, like, what I had read, the only way to do that, to actually, like, ensure that you find, or at least to increase the chances that you're in the same game, is to pretty much walk into an area and had the same criteria, like you've had one out of five puzzles completed and you're waiting in the same area, and you're like maybe someone from another world will kind of, will kind of like enter into your world. Right. Oh nice, you found a lot of iron. Well done, yeah. sir. Uh, mind if we sleep? You also found gold. Gold and iron. Actually, I don't even think I found gold. There are monsters nearby. Uh, looks like it's actually almost sunrise now. Never mind.
Oh, I actually thought you were gonna jump out. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I read they were remaking, or not remaking, but like rebundling. Either digitally or physically. The. I'll be right back. Yeah, I mean, Kenny, you especially, since you like. Can I just bounce for a second? Oh. I thought it was you that said I was back. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, hey. Oh, my eyes are so itchy. Oh, do you want... Should I go to sleep? You're not sleeping in a bed. Hunter? I think he went for a smoke or something. Oh. But why is he moving? Is Hunter possessed? Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> why, why do you think I was possessed? Why oh, did you well. just like convert to religious fundamentalism? Is it well, cause I was burning cobblestone? <laughs> yeah, well, on, on my screen it said that you were sleeping, and like, yeah, it said you were sleeping, and then I look over and you're like just hovering over the lava pit throwing cobblestone in it, not saying anything, and then you started moving, I was confused. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. No, the, yeah, the sleeping text, I guess it was still on your screen, that was like... Minute ago. Okay. I was just trying to get rid of all my cobblestone inside of the finish. Uh Yeah, and then and then Adam said that you were you were out for a cigarette and then your character started moving. I know. Not out for a cigarette yet. But now I am. Yeah. Well, well I'm I'm gonna probably jump out in a minute, so you might not be here when you get back. So I'll say goodnight. He already left. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm just gonna put stuff back in their chests. Are these chests kind of random? Ooh, some of them are. Some of them aren't. 
Yeah, like, there's one for food, one for tools, and then I think the others are just gonna... whatever. Yeah, alright. Put materials... Uh, no, we don't need to save dirt, do we? <laughs> my dirt. This is my dirt chest. So we're gonna put back a bow, some axes, a sword that's about to break. I'll put some coal in the furnaces. Slowly but surely, we're getting there, huh? Yep. We have our food supply. We have quite a bit of iron now. Which is good, because we should make... We should each have a full set of iron armor. Yeah, I saw a bunch of... Uh, iron. Oh, whoops. I, I, oh. Did I fuck up the lava? What did you do? Why well, I placed the lava or placed dirt in the lava, and then just. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I was trying to like throw it though. Oh, here we go. Yes, throw button. Um. But yeah, we'll each have like a set of iron armor that we can enchant now. Uh, and we should try and find some more diamonds, um, so we can each get, like, a, at least a diamond sword each. Yeah. Um. Okay. I thought we had a bunch of iron armor. I saw that. Did you guys use it up? Uh, I think Hunter made one set. I don't know where he put it. But... Maybe he stashed it. I'm gonna look in his stash. Ha! <laughs> I'll look at all your chests and, and invade your privacy and privacies. <laughs> Bookshelf going. Whoa, we got an enchant enchantment table. Yeah, I made that tonight. Cool. So looks really cool. Flippy book. I like the placement of it. Yeah, uh, putting the um, bookshelves around it like this. Yeah. With one empty space in between, um, increases the power of the enchanting table. Oh. And I think we can actually double up on, like, do a second level of book shelves, too. Cool. Looking good. I'm actually going to stash all my stuff too. I need to get some sleep tonight. Yeah, yeah, wake up tomorrow pretty early. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna quit out. But, um, yeah, good that we got some gaming in. I'll, um, probably talk to you tomorrow, bro. Hi, man. You too. Peace.